I gave a lot of credit a couple of weeks ago to several uh, Fox News personalities for pushing for mask wearing. Um, for most of those, perhaps, was oddly Janine Pirro, who posted multiple photos of herself wearing masks in public and getting attacked brutally. You might remember this photo is the one where, in the full photo, you can see that on her phone, she's a topless picture of Chrissy Teigen. But anyway, we're moving on. And others. And she was just getting attacked and attacked and attacked for doing that. But even Sean Hannity did it. And uh, I gave them a lot of credit. And you know why? Because I'm an idiot. Because I'm stupid and I never learn, and they pulled the football out from under me. Uh, yeah, they temporarily told people to wear masks, but it didn't catch on on the right. The right still thinks it's a plot by Bill Gates and demons. And, uh, and it gives you, according to Louis Gomer, it gives you coronavirus. So they're now backtracking. And so here is Judge Janine Pirro talking about masks. Joe Biden is afraid of him. He'll use a pandemic. Uh, I think it's hysterical when he and his wife come out together and they're wearing their masks, you know, they're, they've been housed together since the pandemic started and they're wearing masks together when they come out. What is the point of the mask? The point of the mask is to basically kind of dehumanize. It's to, you know, frighten people. You don't know who's behind the mask. It's to give people cover. It's exactly what the, the anarchists and the protesters need. You know, it strikes fear. There's something going on. There are all kinds of subliminal messages to that mask. And, you know, he's always in that black mask. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, she is too. Reaching, reaching, reach, reach, reach. Yeah. Just like... Oh, she's off prompter. She's <laughs> off prompter and doesn't have a good reason why masks are bad. You know, what if like you're off when prompter? I go to Disneyland and Chip and Dale are there with their masks and they're so sinister. I don't know. There's something. Have you ever seen a clown? Clowns are mean. <laughs> yeah. They're all just like, what is she doing? What is she actually doing? Yeah. Just reaching for some BS excuse. Oh, yeah. Biden is evil because he wears a black mask. Come on. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm going to I'm going to just briefly say this has nothing to do with anything that she said. But sometimes I'll get really drunk and I will try to tell people about why I think there should be a homeward bound cinematic universe and how awesome that idea <laughs> that is. But it's hard to express because when I'm doing it, I'm really drunk. I don't have a <laughs> teleprompter, but I'm really drunk. Unrelated story has nothing to do with anything. But anyway, so with Janine Pirro, I think she would have um, been much better if she had been a little. I don't think she was there. I mean, unlike most of her clips, yeah. You don't think she's that she a little was too prompter, sober? It would have, she would, it would have come to her faster if she had been drunk. Maybe, maybe that's true. Look, here's what she's doing. She's grifting. That's all it is. She tried to be responsible, and if she got applauded and followed on Twitter and handed opportunities as a result of being responsible, I think plenty of these right-wingers would do that. If they could be moral and get paid, they'd do it, but the pay comes first. And so if you have to be irresponsible and tell people to do things that are gonna get them killed to stay relevant, then you're gonna do that. Because not all of the Fox News personalities switched over to being for masks. Laura Ingram never did, Tucker Carlson never did, and they're the popular ones. And so she wants to be one of the popular ones. And so she's going to tell people to effectively kill themselves with a fatal illness. That's what she's doing. And coming up with ridiculous things about how how scary it is. Yeah, Joe Biden, he's basically Antifa. That's what he is. No, he's an elderly man with health problems who doesn't want to die. Yeah. And so that's what she's He's got to keep them... The ones and twos up or whatever exactly. these are. Fisticuffs, good sir. The, fis the fisticuffs. Um... Can I just say, though, that Janine Pirro, when she did try, I, I've never loved a picture of her harder than seeing Janine Pirro with her mouth covered. Like, there's a part <laughs> of me that just went, ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I just, and if we could just get, I'm sure someone out there is good with Photoshop, all of the Fox News hosts with a mask on. Yeah. <sighs> like, I think it would just, we need to look at those photos. We need to imagine a glorious day when Fox <laughs> News is disassembled and sold for parts. And just breathe that sigh of relief because I don't, no one needs to hear anything that comes out of their mouths ever. That is, that is definitely true. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Chris Hughes super chatted, Piro is the final boss Karen we have to face after beating the minor Karens. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> exactly. Um, and yeah, I just, just wear it. You know what? The subliminal messages don't care. 
protects you from a virus. That's that's what it is. You know the subliminal message I get when I when I'm walking down the street and someone's coming towards me and they're wearing a mask. My the message I get is, oh, that person doesn't want to infect me with a deadly virus, and that's a nice message. Um, by the way, I just want to share this thing that I saw. Uh, someone, uh, Sarah Z on Twitter was uh, spreading this. You might remember from Princess Bride. Why are you wearing a mask? And he responds, no, it's just that they're terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. And it turned out to be true. <laughs> Princess Bride ahead of its time, as always. Anyway, that's uh, I Janine wish Pirro. that we could wear Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle masks, like just over the eyes, like just straight Zorro. That's cool. Yeah, uh, that'd be so much cooler. It would. Like if if only. If only the coronavirus infected like the parts around our temples and mm -hmm. we could just all look like dope superheroes. But that instead cool. we look like, you know, yeah, like we're trying to fend off a killer virus. Yeah. Although I have to say, like, you know, like. If... I do look like a ninja. I will say I do. Good. That's really look like a ninja. You wear a black mask. Huh? What, what I have a black mask? mask and it's way oh, okay. too big and I look like a ninja and I, so <laughs> i.e. I look like I could get beat in like five seconds like oh, someone geez. could just just like pow pow done. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you want like a cool mask, I thought randomly, I wonder if they have masks that look like the side of World War Two era planes like the 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 jaw and uh, they do on go on Etsy. They have everything. If you want a shark, you can be a shark. You can be a real shark. You can be the shark. From Finding Nemo, you could. They have everything, by the way. Etsy is all over it, so you can get cool masks. And I want to get a dragon one at some point. You can get ones that look like your own face. That'd be really the dragon one's cool. I mean, don't go outside with it. You're a total nerd, but like, it's cool. I'm good. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, and by the way, I don't know if this is a thing that's starting to develop. And I know it's weird to say, but like, you know, like in some cultures. Um, certain things are covered up and in other cultures, things aren't covered up. And that obviously has long-term impact on what is seen as attractive and mysterious and all of that. Yes. Like when you're walking around, you can't see people's faces. It's mysterious. You wonder what their faces look like. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, it's see. a new dating show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guess that face. The masked single. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I, I would actually watch that as long as Sarah Palin wasn't on it. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.